Hey guys, Mike back. Well, it's lunchtime and I don't have a lot of time today, so I'm going to cheat. So, I've got these kimchi noodles, nice and quick. Like, just follow the instructions for cooking on them. It's two cups of water for this one. Um, I will be using the flavourings. I don't normally. Uh, these ones do not have any MSG, so I leave that out. But just if you want to soup it up a little bit and make it a little bit better, I've got an egg, onion, mushroom, some garlic and some ginger. So really, I'm just going to slice everything up. Slice and dice, as it were. You don't want things too big. That should be nice. Crush your garlic down. Quick run through. I love garlic. I eat it raw. But you do this how you like. Move them over. Doesn't matter if they get all mixed up now. We get our onion. We're going to cut this into a small dice. Just quickly chop it down. Something like that should do. Right, nothing's getting fried. There's no oil in this. So it pretty much all goes in the pan together. Mushroom, again, and just quickly slicing. And then we'll move over to the stove. Right, just it's nice and quick here. I'm just going to get my garlic, my ginger. That's all going into the water first. So get about all these bits here. They're yeah, 20 for me, so I'll throw them in. Get that in the water. We'll get that stirring around. I just want to take the harshness off them. You can drop chilli in there if you want. If you have shiitake mushroom, any dried mushroom, you can use them. And But you will have to follow the procedure there to rehydrate, which usually takes 60 minutes and up over. So let them cook off a little bit. So they've had a couple of minutes, that would have taken the, the harshness off. I'm just going to grab my block of noodle. We'll put that straight in. Any bits that's left over. And just let them soften up. Just make sure they get water all the way around. We'll add our soup base. Make sure that opens up and get everything out. If we can get everything out. Sometimes the packets don't want to give up the secrets. I'll open that up a bit more, see if there's anything else. Flakes in. Just keep this moving. Our noodles are softening up nicely now. Break them up a little bit. Make sure that sauce gets mixed in. I throw my mushrooms in now. And I'm going to put it a very small amount of soy sauce and a little bit of rice wine rice wine almost acts like a vinegar and obviously the kimchi is almost very vinegary too Right, on top of that, as you see, I had an egg. To make it easy, crack your egg into a small ball. And then we will just, if we can make a small hollow, if it will allow us to. 
we'll just lay our egg on top and we'll throw ourselves a lid if we don't have a lid throw on a plate well that's looking good now just give that a little jiggle around that should be a nice soft yolk in there which is what we want Right, I will gently lift that out and serve that up. Try not to disturb the egg too much. We'll drop that straight in. This is almost too much for one person. Get that juice in there. Get everything in there. Just for a little bit of decoration. Just put a few pieces of seaweed for a little bit of extra nourishment. And just a couple on the top, break a couple up, scatter them over. Now, for me, that's a beautiful, simple dish. Aimed at students and people who just simply do not have a lot of time. That's taken me all of about four minutes. So there's a bit of a close-up. Let me know what you think.